No, we are not in the thick jungles of Queensland. We are actually at a park really near my house. I thought I'd take you guys out because, you know, I like to take you out whenever I do my episodes. Guess what? We're going to do part two, fashion something something. It's not a clothes haul because it's not stuff that I just bought. It's stuff that I already have in my wardrobe. <laughs> but since some of you guys asked me to do a fashion video, I thought, mm, you know what? I'm going to give this a shot, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Doing fashion here in Queensland. It's super laid back. It's not like we go to a lot of places to be honest I mean on honestly, <laughs> I, I go to work. I exercise. I mm, Sometimes we'll have a barbecue. Oh, okay. All right I'll go night clubbing or go for cocktails every now and then but really not that much here I feel like maybe because the weather is really hot everyone sort of dresses a little bit more laid back so anyway, what I have for you today is part two of this whole fashion thing of some of the things which I want to wear but just haven't yet, including this number over here, which I will show you full body a little bit later on. And then some other things which I've put together sometimes, it's literally just the way that I dress. I like to combine high street things with market things and bargain things. A lot of my clothing is basic stuff anyway, so I think really most of my expenditure goes on holidays. That is the truth. Let me show you what I've got. These are wide-legged pants from Zara. It's a super lightweight fabric and it's super long. But I have not actually worn them in real life because I've promised to have them tailored. But today I will be wearing them in a way that is very wearable to me, which is high-waisted. They were like $50. Then I got this crop top with pom-poms. Guess what, folks? It's a large. I use sizing as a guide and most of the time I do tend to get the same size for myself but really sometimes I just use it as a guide and I buy it. If it fits then it fits. The size is just whatever. I bought this for $10. That will be going with these pants. I'm going to be wearing platform heels so that the pants don't drag on the floor. The next number is this one a bohemian style it's got a spaghetti strap sort of shoulder it's adjustable and you've got the peep shoulders there I also bought this from the markets this was $30 I think it was on sale though because this was originally maybe $60 which is still a great price it is quite loose and shapeless so for that reason I'm going to be wearing it with a belt I'm gonna hitch it up with a little belt I wear this for when I like to go a little bit bohemian confession though I'm only getting good at wearing accessories now because I realize they make a massive difference to an outfit sometimes you can take such a basic outfit and make it look luxe or just dress it up a bit when you put accessories sort of like this it does sort of contrast the hardware that's already on the dress but I think that's okay sometimes you can mix and match if it's in sort of the same genre if I had a brass belt I would probably wear that over that one though still I have tried it and I think it looks nice okay the next outfit is a two-piece outfit this is kind of casual I think this kind of outfit sort of suits this city a bit in the way that it's casual but it's cool it's a very low neck racer back top this is by a brand called blessed are the meek it's quite a low neck but there is boning there to keep the fabric structured and to combine it with a racer back i just think that's a little bit different compared to some other tops anyway i'll be wearing that with these these are just some basic billabong uh, denim shorts they're comfy they're cool i like the detail that they put into it like little things like this you know another two-piece outfit I did not bring the correct shoes to show you this but I think that's all right because it's a basic outfit anyway this is one of those things I'd probably wear to a casual barbecue everything here is a casual barbecue anyway maybe that's just my life though I don't know this is a baggy top you might have noticed by now that I like a low cut and I like clothes to be baggy it's draped see at the bottom there's a it's sort of drapes over each other I like that effect and the pants that I'll be wearing it with, they are quite low. Let me show you right now. Okay, I put the belt in it so I wouldn't forget. This belt is by Diesel. I've had this for years. So I like this belt. This is really, I like it. If I want to look a little bit cool and a little bit rock and roll, that's what I wear it with. But these are the pants. I got these from River Island. They're, they sit low on me. I like them because of the rip. I fold them at the bottom. Enough of this talking. Let me show you what they look like on.
quite hard to do it outdoors here, especially in Brisbane. It's hot, but I have a tent and I change in that tent just for you. I hope you liked this episode and if you did, please give me one of these. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them in the questions and comments section down below. Otherwise, I will see you next week. See you guys next week. See you guys next week. Oh my god. I've been sitting underneath a spider web this whole entire time. Thank you.